These are speed made good warm up problems. The first one reads you depart at 1014 and arrive at your destination at 1222. The distance you traveled was 11.7. What was your speed? So to find speed, speed is equal to distance over time. And we can take the end time minus the start time and get the change in time in hours and minutes. And then we have to make sure it's in all hours and we can put it in our distance speed time formula. So let's do that. Let's find our time. Our time is 1222 minus 1014. 1222 minus 1014. So we can borrow here. That's a 112. And that makes this 8. 8 minutes. 2 hours and 8 minutes. Now, this 2 hours is good to go when we go, when we put it in our distance, speed, and time. Right? Our time, so it's going to be 2 hours. So this 2 hours is good. This 8 minutes is what we need to convert. We have 8 minutes. We divide it by 60, and we get hours. So, and you can tell, 8 minutes divided by 60. So if this was 15 minutes and we divided by 60, it'd be 0.25. So it's going to be a little bit less than 0 0.25, 0 0.1, somewhere around there. Checking with mental math is a good, good habit to get into. 8 divided by 60 equals 0.13 repeating. So 0.13 hours. So we got 2. 2.13 hours. 2.13 hours. And our distance, the distance was 11.7. 11.7 nautical miles per hour. Our speed is equal to distance divided by time, which equals 11.7 divided by 2.13. 11.7 divided by 2.13. 3 equals 5.492 so we can say 5.49 or 5.5 5.5 nautical miles per hour and glancing up here I notice I wrote my distance in nautical miles per hour I was thinking about speed that's not correct distance is in nautical miles Time is in hours. So if you have this distance in nautical miles, time is in hours, it comes out to nautical miles per hour. The hardest part about this section, really, for people that aren't used to dealing with it, is keeping your units straight. Figuring out, are these hours? Are these minutes? What are we doing here? So we're going to do the same routine for all five of these. We're going to find change in time, convert it to hours, and get our distance speed time which you know let me retract some of that distance equals speed equals and time equals distance is given the distance was 12.4 nautical miles and we're looking for the speed and the time we have to calculate so here we go Calculate the time. Our end time, we arrived there at 12.38 minus when we started, 10.14. So 12.38 minus 10.14 equals 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. 12 minus 10, so that's 2.24. And now this 2 is good because that's an hour. This 24 minutes is what we're worried about. So 24 divided by 60 equals clear. And we get 24 divided by 60. You get 0.4 hours. 0.4 hours. So our time is 2.4 hours. 2.4 hours. 
speed is equal to distance divided by time. So we get 12.4 divided by 2.4. Clear, we get 12.4 divided by 2.4. We get 5.16 repeating. So we get anytime it's 5 or greater, we round up. So 5.16 rounds to 5.2. 5.2 nautical miles per hour good let's cruise down to number three number three says you depart at 1014 you arrive at 1230 let's get that change 1230 minus 1014 You'll notice we can't take 4 away from 0. We need to borrow. That becomes a 2. This is a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. 12 minus 10 is 2. That's 2. 16. This 2 is good. This 16 minutes. 16 minutes divided by 60. We get... And it's going to be really close to 0.25, right? 15 minutes is a quarter, which is 0.25. So what we're going to get is something close to that. We're going to get 16 divided by 60 equals 0.26 repeating. So 0.27. 0.27 hours. So we have our distance, our speed, and our time. Our distance, the distance you traveled was 19.5 nautical miles. We're looking for speed, which is distance divided by time. Our time was two hours and two sorry two point two seven hours so two point two seven hours our speed is equal to nineteen point five divided by two point two seven nineteen point five divided by two point two seven equals 8.59 so if it's five or higher we round up we say 8.6 nautical miles per hour 8.6 nautical miles per hour also known as knots 8.6 knots all right a couple more to run through let's look at four Let's get our change in time, right? You depart at 1016, you arrive at 1104. So we take our ending time minus our starting time. 1104 minus 1016. Okay, now something interesting has happened. We can't take 16 out of 4. We need to borrow an hour, which turns this to 10, right? But when we borrow that one hour, it doesn't we don't borrow one we're borrowing 60 so this is now 64 minutes right this was 1104 borrow one hour which changes it to 10 hours and 64 minutes now we can get on with our math borrow a 10 here 14 minus 6 this is 8 5 minus 1 is 4, 10 minus 10 is 0, we're at 48 minutes, 48 minutes divided by 60, now this is 40, 45 minutes would be 0 0.75, and this is 48, so we're going to be just a little bit off of that, not much though, 48 divided by 60 equals 0.8 hours 0.8 hours so we have our distance speed time distance the distance traveled was 9 9.9 .9 nautical miles our speed is equal to distance over time and our time we found out was equal to 0.8 hours so Distance divided by time, 9.9 .9 nautical miles divided by 0.8 hours. Clear. 9 point, sorry, shaking the camera. 9 divided by 0.8 hours equals 
12.375 nautical miles per hour. So let's say it's 12.375. So we'll say 12.4. 12.4 nautical miles per hour or knots. All right, last one. Here is the last one. Five says we depart at 2016. We arrive at our destination at 2128. The distance was 7.9. What was your speed? So the end time minus the start time, 2128 minus 2016 equals, so eight minus six is two, two minus one is one, 21 minus 20 is 1 hour and 12 minutes. Again, this 1 is good because it's an hour. This 12, these are minutes. So 12 minutes divided by 60. And again, this is almost 15 minutes, which we know is 0.25 hours. So our answer for 12 minutes converting it to hours is going to be close to 0.25. We always want to be checking these things mentally so we know we're not just out of the ballpark. 12 divided by 60 equals 0 0.2, 0 0.2 hours. So our distance, speed, and time, right? Our distance was given up here. The distance you traveled was 7.9 nautical miles. Our speed is going to be distance divided by time. And our time was 1 hour and 0.2 hours. 1.2 hours. 1.2 hours. So now speed is equal to a distance divided by time. 7.9 nautical miles divided by 1.2 hours. Clear. 7.9 divided by 1.2 equals... 6.58. I'm going to say 6.6. .6. Remember, 5 and higher, we round up. So 6.6, 6.6 nautical miles per hour or knots. And those are the solutions to the speed made good warm up problems.